And this is like an everyday thing that I get a message of people, one, asking why and how I am so energetic. I have three kids, and then some people say, well, maybe it's your age. Some people say maybe it's how you eat, the fact that you drink, it's in your genes, and that is not it. I want to go over how to generate energy. Not only message about energy, but how uh, where to start like people so many people want to go far they want to go big but they they don't know the order to start how to find out where they want to go and they're just they just kind of feel blah like confused topic number one is clarity so get that in your mind clarity if you're wanting to go somewhere and even wanting to be a better person, you have to do things in the right order. I think people just kind of take off on an idea. They, The worst thing you can do is look at where someone else is going. First off, you're not going to get there the same way as them. You're not going to have the same give outs as them. Maybe you have a talent that's better than theirs, but you're going off of their talent. I mean, a flower cannot grow if it's focusing on the other flower. Even jealousy. Jealousy can drain you from, from clarity and energy. You can't look at someone else and focus Focus on someone else and expect you to grow. So just focus on yourself, not where I'm going, not where someone else is going, on yourself. Clarity. Do things in the right order. Don't try to go somewhere before you have clarity. Clarity is step number one. The best thing you can do is get out a notebook. This is why I fill up so many notebooks a year. I have like 12 notebooks. <laughs> sitting in my office right now that I have filled out. Did you know that you are 70% 70, 70 more likely to achieve a goal if you write it down and look at it every day? So yes, you need to get a notebook right now and you need to find out where your happiness is. What are you happy doing? Like if you, if like, you don't care to be a fitness inspiration and fitness modeling and all that is not where your talent is, is what you're good at. But you look at my life and you want to achieve what I have achieved and start doing uh, fitness videos and it just doesn't go good. And you're like, why is it going good for her but not for me? Maybe that's because you were looking at someone else and not you. So I want you to figure out and really spend time to close your eyes and meditate on this. Where, what? What brings you happiness? What makes you happy? What are you good at? What can you say that you could be happy spending the rest of your life doing? For me, like I got super depressed last week. It was one of the worst business weeks ever. We had technical difficulties. I couldn't figure out a printer. And I realized I was spending time on my butt morning to 3 a.m. trying to figure out this I wasn't working out I wasn't eating healthy and finally I messaged Paige and I said I can't do this anymore like this is not where my happiness is I have to be able to work out so for me taking working out and healthy living out of my life is like the worst thing you can do that's me that's a part of me that's my happiness and that's why I have chosen body by max so we had to tweak and twerk things she's really good about working with me um, but I want you to figure out what can you honestly say that I can spend the rest of my life doing. This is this is a part of me. This is my passion. This is where that 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 is step one to clarity. You have to have a clear image because who sits in a car and just starts driving, not knowing the destination, not knowing where the house is, never being to this house, and expect to find the house. That is that is what you're doing when you try to go somewhere without clarification. You have to get clarity, but you can type it into a GPS and it's right down the road and you go straight there. So that's why step one always is clarity. Get the notebook out and find clarity. Figure out where you wanna go. Energy, this is a really fun topic because if you spend one day with me, you know that I have the energy of a child. I have three children, I run a business, I'm moving from morning to night. It is no specific way I'm eating, it's no special power drink, it's no special power pill, it's the energy within. If you can figure out, you have so much energy in you, you just have to find it and figure out what's draining you and take it out of your life. Like, I, I had a friend come over the other day and I hadn't seen her in years and I have so much energy I was about to go running but I wanted her to come in and talk to me I wanted to catch up she spent four hours talking about such negative stuff negative energy as she hates her life she all this is going on and when she left I took a nap because I had been drained and sucked from all my energy because it's that negative energy can can drain you and I think people think that um
what what people don't understand is you have to have good energy not like going out and running not doing cardio hits not working out that too but you have to have positive energy to be energetic you have to love what you're doing i wake up every day and i'm excited about life and that's why i'm so hyper have you ever like you know the days where you didn't drink an energy drink you didn't go run. You didn't go do all this stuff. You you didn't change anything, but something exciting came your way. Maybe you won a lottery or you won at the casino or you got a pay raise or just found out some really exciting news. You go home acting like a kid. You're hyper. You're excited. That is natural energy. So you need to figure out how to find your natural energy within because when you do that, the world is yours, my friend. And yes, that started with clarity because once I had a clear picture in my mind of where I wanted to go, I made goals. And the goals have to be so high that if people see the vision with you, you're not dreaming high enough. I can't stress that enough. Please do not settle and be comfortable and make short goals because that's not a way of life. You need to make goals uh, uh, way, way up there. See that? Way up there. Like you need to love your life and where you're going and where your goals are no matter how hard it is that you jump out of bed in the morning. Even if it's like um, a new body image goal. You should be so excited to reach that goal that you jump out and hit the road and start running. And yes, it is possible. I know people look at me like I'm crazy, but I had to learn how to find a happy life, wake up happy. And I live that energy flowing life every single day. Like I won the lottery, like I can't sleep that night because I'm so high on life and where I'm going. So many people think that people are just born with the way that they are. You are not born with energy. You're not born with happiness. You're not necessarily even born with healthiness. You have to generate that. You have to learn how to do that. It's not what you go through in life. It's not how lucky someone is. It's how you react to life and what you learn to naturally generate. You must learn healthy habits and you must know that the day you decide to make a change you're going to feel better than the days ahead when self-motivation kicks out discipline self-discipline has to kick in that's a whole nother topic but please remember that right now you're going to be really motivated and you're going to be ready to get your notebook out and change but on the days that motivation is not there self-discipline has to kick in so learn your habits and stick to your daily healthy habits and lastly, going back to having a, one of the worst weeks ever last week, it was like one negative thing happened, I let it get to me. I let one negative thing get to me and it's like, it just kept feeding off of each other and then this stopped working and then this stopped working and then I was negative about this and then everything in my life was negative and I was exhausted at the end of the day when I was not working out half of what I use, usually work out. It's not working out that drains you. It's it's negative energy drains you. It takes it wipes everything away from you. If you're not happy at your job, you're going to be exhausted at the end of the day. So it's very, very important and brutal to your life how you handle little negative situations because it can turn into an entire negative life, a negative week, a negative month. And finally, Saturday, I just had a breakdown and I said enough is enough and I took the day to meditate and I had to make a positive um choice so I went and ate a salad I went and made a really healthy meal and then I went upstairs and I worked out for three hours I made a positive decision and it's like I went to bed feeling full I felt so happy so just like negative things can feed off of each other and and create a negative life and that's not fair to you that's not fair to your kids that's not fair to your spouse um, but the same way as that happens positivity feeds off of each other 